Yes, that is my baby daddy playing in the background. What y'all thought? Mm. Turn right to I-285 South. He's a good provider. I'm ending right there. He's a good provider. He's good with his child funding. And it takes a lot to be him, to do what you do, to perform, write, be on the stage, do what he does. So I thank him that my children do live the life that they live. It's because of his hard work. It's because of his gift. It's because of his writing. It's because of his producing. It's because of his performing that we have the life that we do. And I say we because at the end of the day, I don't pay rent on a separate house. I don't pay bills in a separate house. It's not like, oh, I got a place where my kids stay and they got lights. And then I got another place where I stay and I got lights. We have lights. We have food. We have the lifestyle that we have because he's the vessel through which my blessing has come. Because he's the vessel through which my blessing has come. But I'm very clear. God is the source of all. My ex just happens to be the vessel through which it comes because all of it belong to my daddy. And I know I'm one of his favorites. So he has blessed me in that way. And I'm not going to take that back. People can say it's conceited or it's this. No, no, it's not conceited. I'm just confident and I know because my life reflects that. Because all that I have been through and survived, a lot of people wouldn't make it through it. So I got to be one of my daddy's favorites. For him to hold my hand and take me through the storm like that and bring me out on the other side. And she ain't got no wrinkles and she's happy. I got to be one of his favorites. And if you don't like it, that's fine. I don't care. Um, but back to my ex. I really respect him because it's not easy. You had to been hiding on the goddamn rock if you don't know what my ex has been through. But not only was he going through it, me and his children were going through it at the same time. So for him still, no matter what people's opinion of him was, no matter what people said about Yo, 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 it's your boy, JG. And it's your boy, Money Mo. And we are Entitled King. Stop what you're doing right now. Subscribe below. Mm. Follow us on Twitter, at Entitled Kings. Instagram, at Entitled Kings. EntitledKings.com. Man, we got a hell of a fucking show today. Surviving R. Kelly. Surviving R. Kelly. We getting right into it. This is what we're talking about, man. Now, R. Kelly, legendary R&B artist. Everybody and their mama know about R. Kelly. No, straight up. He's been around for years. We was probably made off of somebody. Baby show. making music, right? right? For real. R. Kelly's been in the news lately for the shit that's probably going to... He's going to be known for probably the rest of his life, man. No. Now, R. Kelly had a whole, you know, past about dealing with underage girls, Malia, yeah. uh, to the girl that he had the video with, that he went to trial about in 2007. Yeah. And now, there's a documentary that's been previewed and been on Lifetime, it's a series, uh, called Surviving R. Kelly, which has all his, what you say, we want to say victims or... Yeah, all of the victims. His right? victims and most of his victims that you know that were victimized mm -hmm. uh, in some type of way, going into detail about how they met R. Kelly and the situations that they were put in where they realized that he was the predator that he is and that they think he is. I'm gonna tell you something about it. First yeah. off, I don't condone R. Kelly with messing with underage women. So not that shit there is not cool at all. Right. Any nigga that's out here fucking with underage female something's in, that shit there is not, not cool at all. So no let me stand on that first. Right. But you don't think that it's weird that the victims wait all of these years to finally come out and say he's doing this, hmm. that, or, I mean, cause now don't get it wrong. Now the whole underage part, okay, I understand that he's wrong for that. Right. Now, but the women are saying that like they feel like that they were like tricked. Uh, he was doing this and that to him. Right. He was one feeding them this and that. So I'm saying, as me, you as a person, why do you think it took the women so long to come out to even say something? I don't know. And you know what? I'm gonna touch. I can take that with the Bill Cosby case. Bill Cosby shit was happening in the early '80s and the '70s. All his little mishaps with the pills. Yeah. They came out whenever you know whatever whatever happens. Probably supposed to purchase NBC. That's when it's gonna stop you. Yeah. Well, R. Kelly's situation, and you know, a lot of people are gonna be mad with me about the comments. I think he cut their ass off. At some point, no. they had some type of money that was, you know, it was lucrative to yeah. them, and uh, it got to the point to where he felt like, well, shit, this ain't, it's not the same ride or whatever, yeah. whatever. So he got rid of them, and they feel like, well, you know what, this is my time. 
to the expose Me Too. them for the but yeah. The Me Too movement you know is out. sucking over, right? Mm -hmm. The Me Too movement. If you're not familiar with the Me Too movement, it's it's women standing up forever being uh put in a situation where a man or either a woman has put them in a sexual situation where it's uh what do they call it in the work industry? It's a uh tick tick the tap, basically. You do something for me, I do something for you. Yeah. Right? And uh basically I think R. Kelly I think R. Kelly I think half of that shit's true, bro. Honestly, God, I, I think this shit's true. A lot of it is true. Right. A lot I think this shit's true. true. Like I said, the whole underage part, I just don't feel like how, like, okay, his wife, Andrea. That fucks me up. Okay, now, th this is the biggest thing with me. On the surviving R. Kelly, right. she so the scorned woman. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I wasn't, he wasn't feeding me. Right. He wasn't, like, she was so, like, if you seen it, you would almost think that she was a victim. Right. But then you start to see these old uh, videos of her surface after she's left R. Kelly, and she's praising him. She's at the, she's in a car with another man. You see what I'm saying? Oh, this is my husband. This and that. This is my baby daddy. This and that. I mean, for a man that's victimized you and done so much to you, why are you giving him any type of praise? I mean, most women that's been scorned in any type of way, or anything of that type of sort, they're usually not appraising the, you know, the right. the person that did that. And what she me. did, and this was, he got kids with this man. Yeah, most of got kids with this man. Yeah, and well, we don't we don't know what happened behind closed doors. Where was I? But yeah. we do know in the in, in broad daylight when you was under the spotlight, you was in your best dress. Yeah, you was driving the nice cars. Straight up, jewelry. Yeah, purses, finding things in life. Right. Yeah. It gets to the point to where she goes on the Surviving R. Kelly series. Tears him completely down. She was also being funny, talking about, oh, I just wanted him, because, you know, they kind of asked her, like, so why didn't you leave? She's like, I, I wanted him, I wanted Robert, because, you know, the whole time they keep referring to Robert on there. Right. They're not calling by R. Kelly. Right. They all call him Robert. Robert, right. this, Robert. His name. real name. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, she's so, yeah, I just, I just wanted Rob, I just wanted the Robert that I used to read to, trying to make fun of him, like, you know, that he can't <laughs> read this shit. I, I felt like that she was kind of being real messy on there. If man. black women would do that, nah, for real. They will pick and poke at a nigga ass when yeah. he's down. But that's I'm why not I taking that, that away from. But me. that's why I think that it kinds of discredit the Me Too moment because a lot of people is false flagging with the Me Too. Oh, so I'm saying some people trying to use the movement in wrong ways. People that hasn't been victimized. Now right. the people that has. You know what I'm saying? That right. more power be to them. You know what I'm saying? They should right, get right, justice right. and everything else. You know what I'm saying? People need to know about their cases. Absolutely. But the people who's just out here just throwing it out just because it's popular and it's sticking more to people, you know, that's kind of unfair. You know what, right. what I'm saying? And it almost tears down the real victims because it starts to get to where, man, why are you taking 20 years, 30 years to come out? And like I said, I know that there is some real cases right. where women do take that long. You right. know, they're ashamed to come out. Right. But I mean, it's the whole Me Too movement. I mean, little girls from here on out, I mean, they got to They got to say something earlier. Too. You can't wait to 30, 40 years after your life is gone in a route that you don't want it to go. Right. Now you want to say, you know what I'm saying? Or, or just anything. I, I just think that you you just can't play with that. Right. And again, we're not taking up for R. Kelly. Yeah. yeah, real talk. A spade is a spade. A predator is a predator. Yeah. If he did it, he needs to be he, he, justice needs to be done. Oh, Absolutely. You know, whether it's in the streets or whether it's in yeah. the courtroom. But a lot of the women too though, none of them is actually saying that they were right or anything of that type it of It was story. more and I'm just keeping they're, it real. They're more on they're more on like, hey, I was fucking him when I was young. But you was cool fucking him right. while you was young. It's just once you got older and he didn't want you, now you wanted it to be known, hey, he's fucking young girl. Well, my question is, where the fuck was y'all mom at? No, for real. What was y'all mom at? Cause you know the spark. You know the sparkle. Right. With the old track they had with R. Kelly. Right. She's on there, and uh, she's not on there yeah. because she's not a victim. She said, "Well, she she's said her artist. niece. She said her niece. She had her niece and shit around mm -hmm. R. Kelly in the studio, and uh, what have you. Basically, Kells and another chick was having a threesome with her niece. So how old was the niece? The, I want to say, according to the surviving R. Kelly, she right. was fourteen when it started. So, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, the niece was not on the, she was not on the documentary series. Right. Like a bleep out of face, I guess, whoever her mom was or whatever, they did yeah, not want her to be in there or for whatever source. Right. But, you know, that's just crazy, shit's just man. fucking crazy. I mean, man. you hear a lot of freaky shit about these celebrities, bro. Mm -hmm. Honest to God, true, Kimpo. Like, you hear a lot of, a lot of celebrities because they, they really just like, 
it's like the more money they get, the more freaky these niggas get. Wow, shit, yeah. Am I tripping, bro? Like, these niggas do some wild shit. Yeah. It, I don't understand it, man. Like, for a nigga like R. Kelly, man, just, and, and uh, this is the thing. I'm going to split it right down the middle. This is how I'm thinking as a man. Yeah. For a nigga like R. Kelly, mm -hmm. I don't see nothing wrong. 12 play. Uh, all of the sequels he had with Mr. Big. Yeah. I believe I can fly. Yeah. You know, let's clean it up. The whole goddamn me Space Jam album. R. Yeah. Kelly's damn near on that album, right? Yeah. And Step in the Name of Love. Yeah. This nigga can have any bitch he want. You yeah. know what they? Yeah. Bitch be throwing, like Boosie said, bitch yeah. be throwing pussy out of me. And no, but they were though. But they were just young girls. But like, it's not his preference of a woman. It's not what he likes. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But you take it down the middle. His brother was also on an interview saying that they were molested by the older sister, him and R. That. Kelly. Yeah. And that, you know, that's really, he got mental health problems. Yeah. I'm about to say, a lot of the people with the money that kind of go into it and start doing some weird shit, some Michael weird Jackson's, shit. all of them. I mean, they were on. all in some way kind of, they were already sick to begin with. You see what I'm saying? So right. it wasn't the money that did it to them. It was just, it didn't come out all the way. Yeah. It was, it was in, already in them. Right? Yeah. Like they shit. just finally just let it be sung. What's up, man? I mean, what do you think? You think they got enough evidence? I mean, Double Jeopardy is, I don't think you could definitely bring up the same case, but you yeah. bring up a different charge, and there's different ways to get around Double Jeopardy as far as bringing the same case on somebody. You think they, they got enough in this documentary to where it's damn near, these videos that they do on Lifetime is damn near a, a testimony. Yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't necessarily court. know if it's going to be in the direction of putting a, a face of charges against them. I think the documentary was more so to put a light on them, like, hey, watch it, like, Why be now? on the watch out for them. Why right? now? You know what I'm saying? Why now and not before then? Because 07, yeah. the sparkle ones had already happened. Yeah. The, you know, That's what I said. Everybody, everything had already everybody happened. Everybody is kind of waiting to after their life has went in the direction that they don't want it to go in to finally be like, hey, well, let me go try to clean back mm -hmm. up right. on some, you know what I'm saying, on some old money I could have got or this and that. You see know what I'm saying? So. And now they're going to do book deals. They're going to do interviews. Mm -hmm. You know? Do you think at a point maybe R. Kelly had him signing like a non-disclosure to where it's like a limited time of non-disclosure? I mean, it shouldn't be. I mean, to where maybe it expired and now it's like, fuck it, now I can say it. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities. We I mean, that would be, but like I said, yeah. I mean, you gotta understand too, though. These girls have been on more interviews before this, right? So this, this ain't their first one. Right, 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 right. But and and all of them, they all ask the same question: Why now? So what they say? What they say? And they all kind of got their own different, different answers. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just me up. All of them is kind of more saying, "Oh, I didn't really kind of want to come out." Right. This and that. You know what I'm saying? You but know? the thing of it is this: for him to have a 25 year old mind and then to have a 14 year old mind is still not right. It's still not right. Yeah, he was getting over. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying too. Though. Even if they pick, like, now when you come to see him bringing up charges, if you bring right. charges up against him, you got to bring charges up against their parents. For allowing shit. Well, I mean, ain't nobody gonna it. send their 14, 15 year old to live in a fucking grown man and think ain't nothing going on. I mean, no. I don't care what nobody say. You see what I'm saying? Right. Women know. Right. A mother knows how this shit goes down. Right. She was fucking and sucking at 1.2. So she knows. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it starts off young. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, any parent that's, that's going off sending their 14, 15 year old daughter to be with some grown man, they gotta be charged. That damn right. The manager that's on there, he got to be charged. You're in on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Looking in the grills the whole night. And he's so, on there damn near riding and shit. Laughing. Laughing. Like, 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 like he's he joking. But, but nigga, you damn near was probably hitting these yeah. young hoes too. Nah, for real. Or had you was a young hoe. Yeah. Nah, for real. Come on, my nigga. Because yeah. ain't no way Kettles is getting in front of these hoes saying, hey, here's my number. Uh, meet me in room 305. I got nothing nah, tomorrow real. night. You know what I'm saying? Managers are the managers. That's what I say. He, when he moves, the crowd moves. Yeah. And like I say, you know, for him to be his manager, he had to know. They didn't even know everything about the artist, man. So no, he got to go down too. He probably was fucking on little girls too. No, you know what I'm saying. So like I yeah. said, you never know, bro. But I said everybody play a part into the shit. So like crazy. I said, if people start. If, if anybody do start getting charges, everybody get gotta get gotta charged. Get charged. It's supposed the to. moms, the dads, yeah, everybody. everybody. You know, everybody everybody's in the ball. About it. People yeah. don't act like that they didn't know, but the mama, the daddy, everybody was in on that shit. Everybody yeah, yeah. kind of knew about that shit. That's just fucked up, man. Like I said, bro, niggas. We ain't got a bad motherfucking rap, man. That shit gonna stick to that ass for a minute, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man, it's gonna kind of hurt it. But you know, he's also, he's been, uh, he's trying to sue 
everybody in there for basically saying it's uh just you know what is I it? see that messing with his character, yeah, yeah, character. Yeah. character. Yeah. I don't know if he's gonna win that one, bro. Like I said, he uh I think it could be a good fight. I mean, just understand. I mean, how can you go around praising me, but now for uh, right. a documentary, now you want to go and downgrade me? You know what I'm saying? Right, You've been right. praising me this whole time, but we ain't been together. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, for and then you kind of go, you know? Yeah, man. Especially for the Andrea Kelly chick. You see what I'm saying? Right. For you to kind of go in on them like that. I mean, that's just kind of crazy. Something on the interview, you know, he was kind of just fucked up. But I mean, I think with her, bro, like, and I can say this again, is like, she was fucked up by going back and forth. You yeah. know, she's doing, she's playing both sides. Okay, I'm gonna record this shit, and I'm gonna talk about how the nigga had me and how he did me. Yeah, and I'm gonna take y'all through it. Real talk. As an emotional as a woman would, right? Yeah. No offense. Back on to goddamn it. Uh, what she's doing is fucking. Hey, I'm live with my nigga. Yeah. And, and I'm playing good song. Yeah. And and I'm doing this high kiki king and but uh, you know what? Somebody somebody called her and told her, Dre, you wrong for that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, mama, somebody. Yeah, she tried to come back and clean it up. Exactly. With the last, with the last video. video yeah. Which was a uh, acknowledging. Mm -hmm. Hey, I appreciate my kids are straight and my blessings is this and this yeah. is why God gave me this and that because He gave through Him He was a vessel and all this. I listened to the shit. Yeah. Like, you don't do a nigga like that, man. I mean, I know the nigga's no good. Yeah. But you would marry the nigga. Exactly. You were in on all the shit like that, that he was in on. All the shit that you talking right. about, you, you was in on and you was a part and of. And this nigga's R. Kelly. He can't tell me R. Kelly had you at every fucking show. R. Kelly was fucking on all these hoes. We had an opportunity to leave. No, in for real. 10 years. Yeah. That y'all was together and shit. Real talk. Real. Some of the chicks was on there talking about that they didn't want to leave because they thought they were going to have a star in careers and all this shit. And it's like, ain't nobody going to be sitting there getting nah, fucking... Nah, because like you I said... You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Now I'm going to be fucking get, being sitting here getting starved and shit. I mean, any chick with any type of sense is going to know, hey, I need to get out from over here. Come on. I was doing better at my mama's house than over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go listen to that bullshit my mama's saying. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? I let this nigga beat me or hide me. You know what I'm saying? How she, how, the way she was explaining. Yeah. But, uh... You know, for the other ones, like I say, it's just, think about it, bro. Sparkle, man, she, boom, she was an artist and shit, too. Sparkle went hard, you know, she be singing yeah. everything. So you know, but apparently she was saying that Kells kept her close and he goddamn he played her music even closer and yeah. he needed to be on everything, so he had rights to everything. Yeah. And then to follow up under him. Mm -hmm. And the damn near followed, like, this Kells song, but Sparkle's featured on that, bro. Yeah. Or whatever, bro. But like I said, that shit's crazy, man. Like I said, he's in a world of trouble, bro, because the shit's being relit yeah. to the world. And it's a lot I think the only good thing is TMZ has been fucking calling out each one of the victims one by one. Why? Right. Getting on their ass, showing Because all the TMZ videos. knows, because they gotta yeah. know. Yeah, they gotta know enough evidence to know. Yeah, man. Okay, now the 16 year like I said, and I'm sure that with me, 16 year old shit was not cool. It's None of that cool. shit's cool. But y'all are fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right now, y'all trying to downgrade him. You they trying to saying? kill that nigga. Yeah, y'all trying to make him seem like he was worse than he was. He was almost like sex slave in y'all. You see what I'm saying? You seen like, the nigga piss on the bitch in the video. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Was, how worse does it get than that? But this one, you know what I'm saying? Know, what's the difference between R. Kelly and you have? Ooh, that's a bad that's See what I'm bad. saying? I mean, he's around here. You, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know what I'm saying? He was around here. You know, I said so. Porn and shit. I mean, like I said, he was having like he was having young girls and shit around. They weren't actually uh, like getting published and shit at the time, but right. was sitting around for the grooming up until you were above age to start getting posted. Okay. But what you think they're doing in the grooming stages? So I'm saying, probably. I mean, all I'm saying is you gotta understand this shit. I mean, this is a man that fucking. He's been known for having fucking multiple goddamn women. Right. He would switch them out as they fucking come. See what I'm saying? Right. So what's between what's the difference between him and R. Kelly? That he's black? See what I'm saying? That exactly. oh nice what's exactly. what I'm saying? Like I mean, That's like exactly I said, you know different. what I'm saying? In African shit, I mean, people have multiple wives and you know, all type it's different religions and all type of shit like that. But so all I'm saying is as a man, if if he yeah. was in a position to be able to take care of multiple people and was doing that, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's probably why he was doing it. But to have it as a sex cult, I think that's overdoing. Well, I th you're right. I think it is too, because but the thing, the white boy had this shit together, bro, and he had this shit as an organization, bro, and he had fucking, it was coughing, and he was playing taxes and shit. 
I got a nigga was doing some legal pimping damn near. You yeah. feel me? So like I said, I get it. And what R. Kelly was doing was some damn near, some, some, from what we hear, some gorilla, some gorilla pimping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where the nigga handling these hoes rough and shit or whatever. Starving these hoes out or whatever. But like I say, you right. You're absolutely right. And there's a couple other examples like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But shit. You're right, though, because at the same time, I mean, I don't know, man. I think it's love to get the you know, Y'all let us know what's the difference between Hugh Hefner and R. Kelly. They damn near had the same life, damn near. The one now, week. and like I said, too, let this way be known. We do not condone None the fucking that. the younger girls. None of that. That's part that was fucked up, man. that whole shit. I just yeah, feel like that they're cool. trying to go after this character now, though. I think because, it's old. You know what I'm saying? We already knew the nigga was a freaky ass nigga. He did the shit. Cause but the shit did need to come to light, though. Yo, that's just crazy, man. Like I said, that nigga's in a world of trouble, man. And uh, shit, that shit could possibly get back in, in the courtroom and possibly locked up. Mm, for real. Shit crazy, man. We don't know what's gonna happen to R. Kelly, man. But you already know what it is. We on to the next one. JG. Money Mode. And Title Kings, we the motherfucking better. Subscribe below. Follow us on Twitter. Hey, at hit that like Tyler button, man. Kings. Instagram at titlekings and titlekings.com. Fuck with us, man. Get down in the comment section. Get your comment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck with us. Side, man. Let us know. You already know what it is. You want to the next one? Let's get it. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Trap One Friend. Cool money at the time. See me checking in. And right now, you're tuning in real nigga radio. Titlekings.com, huh?